Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about geocaching and how we can get geocache locations onto our Garmin smartwatch so that we can navigate using our watch instead of using one of the other methods that are out there. So what exactly am I talking about? Traditionally, back in the old days, you would get a Garmin handheld device like this, and this device still works really well, and you would go geocaching using your handheld device. Then as smartphones came out, you have a GPS on your smartphone, you can use the app, like a geocaching app, and you can basically just use your smartphone to navigate to the geocache. But if you're somebody like me, you've got a Garmin smartwatch out there, I've got the Garmin Instinct Solar, I want to be able to navigate to the geocache using my watch versus using one of these other methods. And the trick to that is you have to be able to get the geocache locations onto your watch. There's a few different ways you can do this. Now, I've done a video in the past that walks you through how to use Garmin Express. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to use the Garmin Explore website as well as Garmin Connect on your smartphone, and that will get us the location to our Garmin device. Now, let me again say, I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. This video should work the same for anybody who's got any kind of Bluetooth-enabled Garmin smartwatch. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the geocaching site. We need to find some geocache locations that we want to try and get to our smartwatch. Okay, so now I'm on my computer. I hope you're gonna be able to see this okay. There's two websites that we're gonna to need to have open on our computer or be ready to navigate to. The first one is geocaching.com. Now this is a free site that most people will go to to log or download geocaches to go look for. The second one that we're gonna use is the Garmin Explore website, but we'll do that one once we found the geocache. Now I'm not gonna get into all the specifics of the geocaching website. All we're gonna do here is we're gonna go download a geocache just so we can use it as an example to get it on our smartwatch. So I'm gonna go into the search bar, I'm gonna put in the zip code, and I'm going to go search for a geocache. Now you might be asking yourself, why am I doing this stuff on a computer versus using it on my phone? Uh, what I find is on the geocaching website, you can get a whole lot more free geocaches than you can on the app. If you go to use your cell phone app for geocaching, it's going to make you pay for the upgraded service to get most of the geocaches. But nonetheless, here's our list of geocaches. You can always see the geocache location because they should always be named with a GC prefix. So GCTQWQ is this one, so on and so forth. I'm just going to pick any one of these. Bobcat Quickie sounds like a good one. Once we go into here, we can see the information about the geocache. The main thing we're looking for is download GPX. If you're used to doing courses, you'll know what a GPX file is. Your geocaches will always be in a GPX file. So I'm just going to click on download, and then I'm going to save the file somewhere on my computer. Now, at this point, all we've done is gone to the geocaching site, found the geocache, downloaded it to our computer. We can go download as many of these as we want to, but for this example, let's just say this is the only geocache we're going to go look for. This is the one we're going to try and get to our watch. So we've got the geocache downloaded. Now what we have to do is go to the Garmin Explorer website, log in with our Garmin account. Once you log in, it looks kind of choppy, almost like it's not really a, a full functioning website. To me, it doesn't look very appealing. What you're gonna wanna do is click on the map section up here at the top, kind of in the middle. It's gonna bring up a map. It should bring up your location. And then all we're going to do is we are going to import. You'll see over here on the right-hand side under your profile, there's an import and there's an export option. We're gonna choose import, and then we are going to import a GPX file, and we're gonna to map to the GPX file of the geocache that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna click on import GPX, and then we get two different options in here. We can import it as a track, or we can import it as a route. That's kind of up to you. In most cases, I would think you're gonna import it as a track. I'm gonna click on that. Then you get a couple different options in here. You can add it to an existing collection that you've got, you can add it to a new collection and you can create the new collection or you can just simply add it to your library. And that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the checkbox for add it to my library, choose next, and then it asks you to drag the file or click to import it. So I'm gonna click and then all you're going to do is on your computer, you're gonna to map to where you downloaded that GPX file. I'm gonna choose the GPX file, choose open, and now I'm going to choose import. You'll see a map location of the GPX file. Now we have downloaded a geocache location. We've imported it into our Garmin Explorer account. What we need to do now is we need to go on our cell phone and we need to sync our Garmin smartwatch to our Garmin Explorer account. 
Okay, so as I mentioned, now I'm on my cell phone. There's two apps that we need to go into that you should be familiar with if you've got a Garmin smartwatch. The first one is going to be the Garmin Explore app. So we're going to open Garmin Explore. Now, so far, all we've done is we have gone to the geocaching website. We have downloaded the geocache, loaded it to our account in Garmin Explore. Now we have sank our Garmin Explore account to our cell phone, which is connected to our smartwatch. So now that we've done that, we need to simply open Garmin Connect and we need to sync that because Garmin Connect is what houses all of your information that's connected to your smartwatch. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but if you don't do the Garmin Connect sync, you won't get that saved location on your smartwatch. So now we should have the geocache on our smartwatch. Let's go back to our smartwatch and see whether or not we can navigate to our geocache. Okay, so I'm back on my Garmin Instinct watch. I'm going to press the upper right hand button. Now, depending on which Garmin smartwatch you've got, this might be a little bit different, but we're gonna to wanna to go and use the navigate feature. So I'm going to choose navigate, and then I'm going to go to a saved location. We can see all of the saved locations I had before, but at the bottom of the list, we also have the geocache that we just downloaded from geocaching.com and loaded through the Garmin Explore website. I hope that makes sense. It sounds like a lot of steps. There's really not a whole lot to it. Go to the geocaching website, download your GPX file, import it into the Garmin Explore website, open Garmin Explore on your phone, sync it, open Garmin Connect on your phone, sync it, and you should see that safe location on your Garmin smartwatch. As always, I hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Have fun geocaching.